Well, good morning, everybody. We are waiting in our straight truck and, uh, well, waiting for the air up to build. We've got two deliveries. One is just one skid of 10 boxes. The other one is rush, 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 rush. Can't be late for this one. But if this one is such a rush, why am I stopping here for just one bloody skid? Because I may have to wait for this one. I don't understand that, why he does stuff like that. I don't know, just get it out, get it out the door. But if this one is delayed, it's gonna make me late for the other one. Okay, we're uh, aired up now. So as you see, there was no videos last week because, uh, well, everything's on a one week delay now. So what I do this week, I'm gonna film, you'll see next week. So um, this was filmed last week and I'm gonna do a one week delay now. So then that way it's easier for me to get a video out every day. So that I don't, if, if I get home late, that I don't feel like uploading and editing and all that stuff. Because it takes a lot of time to uh, edit. It takes about me an hour. And then if it doesn't save and... Anyway, it gives me more time to get everything up. Um, I can, just on the weekend, just hit everything and just upload it all. And you start getting them on Monday at a regular, regular pace, consistently at 7 o'clock. I'm going to have them come out at 7 o'clock every day from Monday to Friday, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock. That's how I'm going to do it. So, we got two deliveries right now in the straight truck. One um, just uh, around Chabonel and the other one is on the South Shore and stand by. We are going to our door, which is door 149. And normally when I would come here, I'd come in this area here, which is all refrigerated part of the warehouse. I'm actually going to break my rule and actually tell you where I'm going. Now, in the old days, years ago in the old days, you used to go into that office right there, and you'd bring your paperwork in there, but now, you don't. You don't even get out of your truck. All automated. Everything is automated now. I gotta find my door right now, so stand by! All right, just got to my door. I don't have to go inside because it's, um, I went up to uh, security on my way in. They gave me a pager. Now I'm kind of early, so what I would normally, if there was a truck already here, I would wait, I dropped my pager. I would wait in the holding area, but because there's no one here, they sent me straight to my door. Um, so I'm in the door now and um, as there was a truck here as soon as it leaves this thing would go off vibrating and there's lights up here that would all go off and makes quite a racket well how do they know well, I'll show you in just a second because there's a sensor on top of the door I don't even have to get out now to get my bill signed I get signed at security um, I love this because if I show up early I could just sit here and wait goes off, you go to your door, which is on the back of the um, pager, as see I'm at door 149, and as soon as they start loading, which they actually, uh, I, I'm locked in right now because the light is red, and as soon as they're done, paper's ready to go, the counter's correct, this thing goes off again, and I go to security and I get uh, my bill signed. I'm going to break my little rule here, and actually tell you where this place is. Who's the customer? Oh, and they're unloading me right now. And the customer is Costco. I love delivering Costco. If more places were like Costco, we'd be in, out, bang, bang, boom, fast. But they are appointment Nazis. If they say be here at 10 o'clock, you better be here at 9.30. You better be early. So let's go take a look and I'll show you that, um, that sensor on top of the door that, uh, so they know when the truck pulls out and this thing goes off. Because if there's someone at the gate now waiting for this door, this thing's gonna go off as soon as I pull out. So let's take a look at that. Okay, as you can see, 
I'm locked in. And they got the, um, the door clamp here so I can't pull away. And you can hear them inside. But see, right there is a sensor. So they can see when there's a trailer here and when there's not. They know if there's a trailer here or not. Not actually, some of the guys has to have to physically look. So as soon as I pull away, they're gonna know. So if there's a guy waiting uh, for this door in uh, in holding, not so much now, but in the morning, yeah, it's, it's jam-packed here in the morning. Guys are waiting on the street to get in. That's why it's good to be here at least an hour early for your appointment. I was 45 minutes early, which is good. So um, always be early, always, always. If you're coming to Costco, you have to be early because they are appointment Nazis. I think Walmart is too. Walmart and Sam's Club. Uh, if you're 15 minutes late, 10 minutes late, rebook. Come back tomorrow. And this guy here, he's back into this door. Maybe I should get out of his way. So uh, we're waiting to get unloaded, so stand by. So as you can see, uh, you really kind of don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's vibrating and all these lights here are flashing on and off as you can, yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, they're all going on and off. So that means I'm empty. My account is right. So now what I got to do now is go to uh, security with my doors open because security's going to want to. Yeah, dude. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. <laughs> so I'm going to pull out. Not going to close my doors. And we are going to go get our belt sign. What are you doing? I can't get out with him sitting there. I'm in line to go to security because there's where we came in before, right over there. And now we're waiting on the other side of the, the shack, obviously. So they're gonna come out, take a look at the back of my truck, find my bill. If they actually didn't do it already. Because normally uh, when I used to come here, Transax, they used to keep the bill and you get the signed bill um, when you come back on the way back out. Why don't I don't go there? It's two lanes. Use them. Anyway. We're just gonna get our bill signed and then we're gonna be out of here and do that one that one pallet with ten boxes on it. And then we're out of here. So stand by. And we have just left Costco and we're heading to our second delivery with the one skid with the 10 boxes on it. So stand by. All right, well, we're done our final delivery. This place was a pain in the butt to get into. Uh, so now I got a 53 foot trailer there that I got to wiggle around. There's a 53 foot trailer where the truck's still hooked onto it there that because he's so close to the fence, I can't get by him. So I have to do like a 100 point turn to try and get around this Perlator trailer. But I don't have a, well, when I go back to the warehouse, I don't have cans yet. But I have a delivery out to St. Jean Richelieu using the Freightliner. And Probably an empty container. Well, obviously an empty container because we sold our trailers. We used to have a 53 foot reefer and a 53 foot dry van, but um, sold them. I'm trying to convince him to buy a 32 foot tandem pup air ride. And he's like, oh, it'd be handy. I can get around easier with that than I can with this. And you can put 16 skids in it straight, 17 turned. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a driver. I don't know anything. Uh, anyway, we're heading out. We're going back to our house and we're going to go back out to uh, do another delivery in St. Jean's Richelieu. 
Stand by. Brakes are off. There we go. Just finished my lunch. Hoping that went a little bit, get a bit of crossbreed going on here. AC is still doesn't work, but we're dropping the truck off when I get back. And I told him, well, I have to pick up Jesse at 5.30 at his mom's. Like, well, how are you supposed to get our delivery done? I told you last week. It was Thursday, Friday that I had to finish early on on Monday. Don't act all surprised because I told you. I'm just reminding you. So now we're heading to not really the South Shore, for the uh, Eastern Township. We're going to Derby. Uh, we're heading to uh, Saint Jean Trichelieu. They're going to take a live unload to unload this can full of instruments and speakers and stuff like that. Maybe I can get a. Well, I I did ask him for a bass amp. He said he would get me one for about two to three hundred dollars, which is a good price. But I've seen one that had. Uh, five different effects had clean rock jazz fuzz and if you put um, rock and jazz at the same time you got um, like a synth effect which was really cool it was a really cool effect that bass amp was about oh, 500 bucks well 490 for that bass amp that was Plunking around with a, it wasn't a Fender. It was a copy of a Fender P bass, but it had a really nice sound. They had a Ibanez right next to it, so I played the Ibanez. Didn't like it. Didn't like the sound at all. I found it sounded kind of tinny. It had a tinny sound to it. I didn't like it. Where the, it was a Tejan or Dante, whatever. It was. Looked like a Fender was made with really nice wood, but 200 bucks for a Fender copy. You put on some Fender pickups, and you'll never know. It's not a Fender. It'll sound like a Fender, play like a Fender, looks like a Fender, but it's not a Fender. Well, you're thinking, well, why don't you just buy a Fender? I'm like, well, I would, but even a used Fender at a pawn shop, they go for a thousand dollars. At a pawn shop, like new, they start. They started about 1800 and go up. At least the ones I've seen. Anyway, my skill level is not that good yet to justify buying myself a Fender, even though I would really, really like a Fender. So anyway, we're heading to uh, this place in Saint Jean Richelieu. Stand by. I used to take this way years ago to go to St. Jean Trichelieu. I haven't taken this way in a long time. So um thought I'd take it for a little bit of variety and um, see if I can speed things up a little bit by kind of taking a more direct way. Even though it's a secondary highway, the speed limit here is only um, 70 kilometers or 45 miles an hour. Well, it's 80 here. So, uh, let's see if it speeds things up a little bit by um, kind of taking a more direct line. Because the other way I'd have to come up to 30, come across, and then come back down. So this way I'm just kind of just to the chase and going straight there. Plus, it's a nice drive. I like taking these little secondary highways every now and then. Sir, so it's more windy and more hills, and, but I like it. That's one of the um, one of the good things about trucking. Like, you can't always stay on the interstate to the big roads when you're kind of boring after a while, but these secondary highways are really your toes with all the twists and the bends. Yeah, that's why I like Pennsylvania a lot, going through some of the 
you gotta go to some town here in Pennsylvania and you gotta take a secondary highway to get there. I love that. I find um, New England is a lot like that. Like going to Boston, around Maine, stuff like that. A lot of secondary highways. And then Jake right here. But I'm actually going a little quick. Let's drop half of here. Yeah. People live by the highway. It's a little bit more of rural Quebec. A lot of, a lot of corn farms, I find. Corns, dairy. There do we go past the dairy farm and the whole area just smells like manure. Yummy. It's all corn. I don't know if that's sweet corn or feed corn. I honestly don't know how to tell the difference. Stop by the highway late at night and run in the field and grab a bunch of corn and there's dinner the next day. <laughs> anyway, we're going to see how long this takes and see how much time we can cut off. So stand by. Well, we got to our destination now, and um, I'm going to hang on to the bills, because not that they tend to lose them, but they got a whole can they're going to unload, so I'm going to be sitting here for about two hours before they're unloaded, so I'm just going to just sit here and just chillax a bit. Whew. If I had a sleeper, I'd go in the back, take a nap. Hmm. So, um... That is what I'm going to do after this. Well, after this, it may be it for the day. Probably pick up some containers tonight. We shall see what it is I do. I'll probably take the secondary highway on the way back, too. That was a really nice drive. It seemed to take... Uh, well, besides the construction zone when I first got to Saint-Jean, because um, it's normally a, a boulevard, but it's cut down into... Uh, just one half is open because they're completely repaving the other half. So I'll probably take that way again because it cut off like 10, 15 minutes. So I'll take that way back to uh, back to Montreal. So um, we'll see what's up after this. Stand by. Well, so far so good. It started without any major drama. Let's see if it. Uh, they changed something if there's something in the transmission that was seized in the upper part of the transmission was seized. The clutch feels different now. Oh yeah, they, they definitely did something. It's it's got lots of grabby now. There's no delay in going into gear. Bang, it goes right into gear right away. So we're going to see if the uh, transmission doesn't screw up. It doesn't have a spasm. Like, yeah, stuck again. Did it. Oh, now they're completely went out. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's completely given up again. Totally screwed. Yep, did it again. Three times. This is the third time it does it. I picked up. I go three blocks. What the hell was that noise? Now it won't go in gear. It just kicked itself into... Oh, joy. Joy. Now, just 
cooked it up. It's... Now it's done. I can't go in gear. Lovely. It's totally fried. Oh. We're going to gear. Oh! We're back in the gear! Ah! <laughs> but for how long? How long? For how long will it allow me to get back to the shop? I sure bloody hope so. He could spend thousands trying to figure out what is wrong with this transmission. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, there it goes again. Just did it again. That's four times. And stuck in six this time. Stuck in six. So hopefully, I can get it back to the warehouse. And this, well, this time I'm kind of off at a turnout this time. That's completely, totally gimped. Wow. Look at it go. Put a manual in it. Problem solved. It's like I don't want to turn it off because it may not go back. Back on again. Anyway, stand by and see how this turns out. That's right, boys and girls. We're back in the Freightliner and it's a manual. That's right. A 13 speed heat fuller. Like it should be. Nothing like a 13 speed. My 15 years, well I like an 18 too. I like an 18 speed. But an 18 is just a glorified 13. That I tend to shift it like a 13 speed anyway. I love a 13 speed. Oh. I wonder how much money he's going to have to freaking spend to finally say, you know what, maybe Peter's right. Maybe I should put a manual in there. If you're driving for 15 years, maybe I might know what I'm talking about. So, on the way back, it crapped on the way there twice, got the can off at Ultra, came back and took a dump right around here. Managed to rectify itself without me having to turn it off, thank God, because there's no real place to pull out right here. Then right in front of the Seattle Police Station had a major episode and just had a complete total meltdown. And I had to sit there for about 20 minutes before it sorted itself out. Uh, got back to our house, I can't say with no incidents, because it had a couple spasms. Didn't have to shut the truck off and uh, reset though, thank God. But it had a few tantrums. Dropped the chassis, moved the truck off to the side in a place where uh, if it has to be towed tomorrow, a tow truck can grab it easily. And then back into the Freightliner. That's the thing with the manual. It's the driver shifting it. So if there's a problem with it shifting, the problem is between the seat and the steering wheel. Like this thing, when it's having its, its problems, all they did is put a new... They put a new shifter knob on it. Because whatever was inside... was worn out. So, with labor and everything, it was like a couple hundred bucks. Bang, problem solved. Your shifter knob was probably about 30, 40, 50 bucks. I don't know how much a ship, whole shifter knob is. Can't be that much. And um, maybe half an hour to slab it on. Half an hour, hour, 
maybe an hour worth of labor, hit that. Take the old one off, slap the new one on, done. Problem solved. Problem solved. So we're just going to get our can here and um, hopefully that's it for the night. Well, it is going to be it for the night. Oh, that's Allison. Hi, Allison. I'm getting your message after I told you that my truck just took a dump. <laughs> ah, anyway, stand by. Okay, so we have our container. We're heading back to the warehouse, and that's it for the day. Nothing else. And I'm finished, and it's still light out. Well, it's 8 o'clock. And I gotta start 8 30 tomorrow, but I have to go to the DMV first because my. My permit expires on Wednesday, and I can't just mail it in or do it on the internet because my actual card expires as well, because I have the old blue one. It's different now. I've got the old one. So, I gotta go and take my picture, and they're only good for five years, so I gotta need a new picture. And I'm gonna go to one of the machine because even though there's one just down the street from me, I ain't gonna go that one. Because everyone and their dog goes to that one. I am gonna go to the one just off of 32nd Avenue in Lachine on the other side of the 40. Sorry, on the other side of the 20. That's in uh, the basement of the Lachine City Hall because not too many people know about it. Not too many people know that one's there, so. There's never any wait to be like in and out in 15, 20 minutes. Or if I go to the one down by my place, I'll be sitting there for an hour. Or if I go to the one by Bombardier on Marcel Lorraine, I'll be there for an hour. But this one, probably maybe 10, 15 minutes. I've already got my money set aside. Okay. The Queen! like a hundred bucks to bring in, renew my permit. Ontario, I think it was like 35. No, go back! 97. I think that's fees and taxes and everything in, I hope. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Remember hit that like button, that share button, and that subscribe button, because it always helps. And see you tomorrow.